please match the equations to the solutions. So let me give you a chance now if you'd like to, to pause the video, try to figure this out, and whenever you're ready, we'll go over the answer. And if you get stuck or don't know how to do this, don't worry because we're just going to go over it. Okay, so like I said, since we're practicing right now, absolutely no worries if you have any trouble with anything in this video because we're just going to go over it. And it doesn't matter if you get these questions right or wrong, it's just for practice and to learn from. And I know that everyone watching this is probably going to be at a different spot and they're studying. So maybe this is a review for you and or maybe you're starting from scratch. But either way, I want to start by building a foundation from the ground up. I'm going to go through these one by one here. So we start with a minus two equals 10. And the name of the game here is to get the a by itself on one side of our equation. So since it's a minus two, I want to do the opposite of minus, which is plus and the twos will cancel out. And whatever I do to one side, I also have to do to the other. So I also have to add two to the 10. And if I do that, I'll figure out that a equals 12. So now let's do 5c equals 20. So the name of the game here is to get the c by itself. So 5c is the same as five times c. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So if I divide by five, the fives are gonna cancel out, and that's gonna leave me with just the C on the left-hand side of the equation. But remember, whatever I do to one side, I also have to do to the other side. So I have to do 20 divided by five. And when I rewrite this, I'll see that C equals four. So now let me do X over five, equals five. So now we've got x divided by five and I wanna get the x by itself. So I'm gonna to have to do the opposite of division. And the opposite of division is multiplication. So if I multiply by five on this side, the fives cancel out. But remember, whatever I do to one side, I also have to do to the other side. So I have to do five times five to get the answer. So five times five is 25. So I see that x equals 25. So I'm gonna put 25 here in the box. So now we have x minus 15 equals 22. And the name of the game here is to get that x by itself. So since it's x minus 15, I want to do the opposite of minus, which is plus. So I add 15 here, and I also have to add 15 to this side. So now let me rewrite this. So 22 plus 15 is 37. So x equals 37. So I'll put 37 in the box here. So here are the solutions right here.